We are assembling the apple box. We're just going to get started right away. Um, this piece here with two sections, this is the bottom. And that was thunder, if you guys could hear that. Pretty good clap of thunder. Um, so the bottom of the apple has two sections. The top has one. So I did not put a panel on this top part of my apple box. Um, it's included in the file. You certainly can if you would like. I figured since it was going to be covered by the top that I wasn't going to put it on. There is just a very slight border around these pieces. My cat Elvis is sitting right here at my side today because um, he's afraid of thunderstorms. I don't think I've ever had him near me when I'm crafting. My, my last cat I had for 25 years. I took in a stray that was pregnant. She was the cat we kept. Her name was Sally, the kitten that we kept. She was born on my daughter's birthday and we had her for 25 years. It took us a little while to get a new one, but I went to the pound and this little guy, Elvis, he was two years old. He's a black cat, and he was talking to me, so he was the one that I brought home. And he does not like thunderstorms at all. He just ran between my feet. Okay, so you just want to make sure that you line up your hole. This one is for the inside of the box, if you want that in there. So it's easier to put this piece on before you make your stem and put it on. But if you forget, it should, it's big enough, it should just fit right over your stem. And this piece here is the stem. Pretty straightforward. We're going to fold these the opposite way because these tabs are going to glue inside here. You could also use this on the inside, and maybe that's where I'm going to use it, to hide the tabs from the stem. So we just want to close this up. I don't know if you can hear those voices, but one of my teenage sons is getting a little bit rambunctious with his gaming in his room. Okay. doesn't quite fit through, so I'm going to have to try to work just these tabs through here. This is probably the hardest part. <laughs> I 
some glue under each tab. So that is what I'm going to use this piece for. You can cut two and put one on the bottom too. Um, I think it'll just make it look neater to cover that up. Okay, now we'll assemble the box. And that too is very straightforward. We're just going to start gluing these tabs together. You just want to bring it right up there to the score line. All right, now there's the top and now we'll work on the bottom. So line up your bottom piece first, get that secured, and then do your top. And we're going to do this all the way around. You can see that this box is pretty simple. This will be this would be a cute little gift box for a teacher. You can even have uh, your your children help put these together. I don't think it's too complicated for them to help with. I know my kids always enjoy making whatever gift it is that we're giving to their teacher. Especially the cards, they, they really enjoy making the cards for their teachers. I'm going to go ahead and put glue on this piece since I'm going, going to tuck it in when I glue this other side. And then I won't have to... Um, Reach in there to get glue on it. There we go. So this is a cute little box. It's not too big. Um, both pieces fit on a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. <laughs> it's just a 
cute little apple. Um, you can curl your leaf a little bit. And I think I'll put that like that. Hold it just for a second, make sure it's going to stick. And there you have it. There is the apple box. Thank you for joining me.